Hello, my name is Tony, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can switch on the new meeting options in Microsoft Teams and tell you about Together Mode. Now, this is just gonna be a quick video, so no time to tell you to click subscribe and hit the bell to see future videos like this. Okay, are you ready? Then so am I. Let's go. To enable the new meeting options, click your profile, settings, and you should see this option here to turn on the new meeting experience. And this will require a restart of Microsoft Teams. If you don't see this option, then your Microsoft Teams requires an update. To do the update, click back on your profile, and you've got check for updates. So this can take a couple of minutes, and what you will see is a little notification underneath the search box that tells you that the updates have been uploaded, and then click to refresh. So look out for that one. So let's have a look at the new meeting options now. So here's a meeting I've prepared earlier. So let's click join. And with the new meeting options, it will open up in a new window like this. It just makes it easier for you to navigate around Microsoft Teams and other applications. I'm gonna to click to maximize this and let's join the meeting. We can see that someone else is on the call already. So we've got Ron Burgundy on the call. And here are your meeting options across the top. So you've got the same meeting options as before, pretty much. So you've got your show participants. One of the great things about participants, not only can you see who's on the call, but you can also click more options here and download an attendance list, which you will see if you're the organizer of this meeting. You've got show conversations, so your chat messages for the meeting. You can raise a hand. And then over here, you've got your audio, video and the option to share your screen. As the organizer, you can leave the meeting and allow it to keep running. But if I click here on the drop down, you've got the option to end the meeting for everybody. So this is to stop the meeting from continuing when you've finished. Let's go to more options. So one of the new features is called Together Mode. Now to enable Together Mode, you need at least five people on the call. Now I'm a one man band, I'm all on my own today. So this is a reconstruction of what Together Mode looks like. According to the Microsoft research, the idea of Together Mode is that it can help to stop people from feeling alone. So it helps them to feel together within their teams. For more information on Together Mode, check out the description in this video. I've got a link to a blog from Microsoft that goes through what it's all about. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Teams, then watch these videos here. And I will see you in the next video.